few minutes left before we wrap up but before we go we're going to say good morning to our guest Cheryl Seeley she's a facilitator with the Virtues Project Caribbean and last week we were looking at name that virtue when that was one of the games um, Cheryl one of the things I want to look at is kids are going back into school today for the first time yeah. um, is this a project and something that the parents should have been involving them in over the summer holiday so that you're not trying to teach them virtues in the car as you're raising your way to school <laughs> <laughs> As you're having breakfast. As you're having, having breakfast. breakfast. <laughs> yes, you're absolutely correct. And um, the beautiful thing about it is, this is something though that we don't have to set aside a special time. Mm -hmm. Because it's a mentorship type program. Parents are teaching the virtues all the time. For example, there was a little girl and her mother had done the virtues. And she's getting her ready for school. You know, she says, hurry up, hurry up, put on your shoes. And, and the little girl said, because she learned this from her mother, Mom, I think you need a virtue. <laughs> so the mother said, oh, what would that be? She said, patience. She <laughs> said, you're right. So they took their time and put on their shoes and went out the door. Mm -hmm. So this smart little girl, she was only mm -hmm. about six. Now, another evening, she wanted to go out and play in the yard. So she said, Mom, can I go out and play? Can I? She said, the mother said, no, we're going to eat soon. You're going to get dirty. But I want to go out and play. This continued. She said, no. She said, Mom, I think you need a virtue. Mm -hmm. Mother That's said, what would that be? Yeah. <laughs> the virtue of lightness. <laughs> she said, no, I, I think you one. need to oh, be. Oh, she is very clever. Yes. Oh, very clever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mother said, no, I think you need to be obedient. Mm -hmm. She said, okay, mom. So, <laughs> so this is something that you can incorporate as a daily lesson within the general context of home life. It's not, exactly. let's set aside 10 minutes every day to do, to do the virtues. It's something you can do within the home. Right, and you can set aside that time. In the morning, you can have your devotions. You can t do a virtues pick. Mm -hmm. You pick a virtues. What I love about the cards is we think we know what these virtues mean, but it gives a description. Okay. And then it tells us how. Five okay. points. So you could talk with your child about how they're going to practice that. Well, let's week. play the game and see. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's play the game because this increases your virtues vocabulary. Mm -hmm. So we did six. Now let's go to seven. And you are open to inspiration. And you develop your gifts and talents to the fullest. Name that virtue. What virtue would that be? Creativity. Excellent. Creativity. <laughs> you looked at the answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number eight. You don't punish yourself for others. You make amends instead of taking revenge. What would that virtue be? Responsibility. Forgiveness. Oh, forgiveness. forgiveness. Okay. <laughs> You are, your, number nine, you are your own leader. You share your true feelings tactfully. Because you can be truthful but cruel. Mm -hmm. You want to be tactful. What would that virtue be? This is... Come this on, it's your, your turn. No, 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 I don't know that <laughs> yeah, one. This I'm one a lot of people truthful don't but even cruel people, know. So I, I don't know that yes. one. You are your... Um, we don't uh, fall victim to mm -hmm. bullying and so on. And this is assertiveness. And it's... <laughs> and assertiveness means guess. you're not too passive, but you're not too aggressive. aggressive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, you ask for what you need in a tactful way. Uh, next one, you treat yourself. yourself and others with dignity, speaking and acting with courtesy. What would that virtue be? Humility? Compassion. No. Uh, hum no. Cool. Those are good, good Humil guesses. Mm -hmm. You treat yourself and others with dignity, okay. speaking and acting with respect? courtesy. Excellent. Respect. Mm -hmm. Respect. respect. Mm -hmm. All right. You are filled with happiness and a peaceful sense of well-being. Drunk. <laughs> that was my first guess. That was my first guess. That Sorry. was my first guess. Yeah, Not drunk. a virtue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What would that be? Uh, Serene. Not totally drunk. Cool. <laughs> Not totally drunk. Okay. <laughs> sense of well-being. Well peaceful. Uh, Starts with a J. Yeah. Jay, I was thinking serenity yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay. Yeah. Joyfulness. Joyfulness. Okay. Joyful. Okay. okay. But this okay. one is your last one. I'm sure you'll get this. You feel sure that you are worthwhile and gladly learn from your mistakes. You, feel you are sure, sure that, that you are a worthwhile, worthwhile person. Mm -hmm. And gladly learn from your yeah. mistakes. What virtue would that be? People who feel worthwhile. Starts with a C. They're sure of them, you know. Sure, oh, confident. 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 confident, yeah. Confident. That's what I said. Yeah. 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 Okay. So by the end, we will have 52 new words of virtue. Mm -hmm. So I also wanted to talk about uh, today, because this is the first day of school, a lot of teachers are going to be setting clear boundaries. Mm -hmm. These are what we call rules. And this creates safety. 
And um, we got 10 seconds to do that. Oh, great. Yeah. So uh, safety is second on that Maslow's hierarchy mm -hmm. of needs. And if, if uh, teachers create that safety, then they can teach and children can learn. So a uh, uh, virtues-based school is about naming virtues, not shaming, not labeling. It is about mentorship, not censorship about reflection, not rejection. Get the child to reflect on the virtue and it's about restitution, not retribution. And a nice note there on which to add, wrap up. Thank you very much, Cheryl. Well, I hope that you have a virtuous day. Doug and I, we're going to have for the virtuous breakfast. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. We're gonna, we're gonna have a really great day, everybody. Have a really great day, Doug. What are you after today? I'm just, well, unfortunately, I have a funeral to yeah, attend Yeah, so do this I this afternoon. afternoon. You know, um, Elvis Reefer's uh, funeral. Our sympathies go out to the entire family. But you go out and make it a great day today. See you again tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.